I don't know why this is happening, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is just coming into my reality right now. And I'm all for it because I've been talking about it recently. And just like here and there, it'll come up about Raphael. Just man, I man, the turtles. Now, this, The Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, official trailer coming to Netflix. I have seen a clip of what I think is this movie, but I'm not sure where the animation absolutely went off like it looked like like it could beat most like oh man it looks good there's a fight scene i don't know if the fight scene is from this but i guess we'll see i guess we'll see but i remember it was like getting teased or people kept sharing it so i don't know if like netflix bought the movie or this is completely new or it's just coming to netflix i don't i don't know but anyways without further ado Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sending out a lot of love. Remember, take destiny into your own hands. I've got tons of videos for you to check out. And let's just hop straight into this. Wellington Sunday. It's those pesky turtles. License and yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it is. I think this is it. Unless they... License and registration. <laughs> I know how this sounds. I need you to believe me. Because I'm from Command The future. <laughs> Let's start over. My name is Casey Jones. In the future, an alien race decimated the planet. Master Leonardo gave me a mission. Find the key. Stop the crank. Ninja Boy is really from the future? My... Tonight, with this key, we shall free them to lay waste to this world. No! It started! They're here! Join me. Sister. Brother. Time for us Ooh. to finish making this universe Chaos, the bro. image of Crank. What did they do to us? We've lost our mystic powers. Right now, the Krang are using that key to bring in something that will destroy the world. We lost. We still got a ninja's greatest weapon. Hang on, hang on. I gotta pause this. This is fire. One sec. I'm seeing a really, really common theme among a lot of things that I want to tell everyone to be aware of, even if you think I'm crazy or a wild conspiracy theorist. I just w recently seen a video that popped up by a YouTuber, if you don't know his name, it's Infinite Waters, Ralph Smart, um, where he talked about they are basically showing you like, so okay, so it's so weird how the art is following this. Because it's just like when the Simpsons or Family Guy predict something like an election or events and people are like, oh, how do they know? And it's pretty, um, I think it's pre, it's called pre something programming. I don't, oh, predictive, the predictive programming where basically the events that are going on in reality are all just planned. I have seen now multiple, multiple things around the I guess I have seen multiple things now around the the concept of opening portals to another dimension my boy just told me to watch Doctor Strange multiverse and in that I'm pretty sure the dude opened the door to a multiverse of things that they had to fight while you know reality your shadow self blah 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 your mirror self that's super evil um, but nonetheless, opening portals that let beings through, like interdimensional beings. Now, coming back to Ralph Smart, is in his video, he actually talked about what's going on with scientists and the, the recent news of what they're trying to do, which, quote unquote, is they're trying to open a portal in real life. Like, I'm talking about real. These are real reports. And then this pops up, and now we come to this. And again, a dude from the future came back to warn the current people about portals opening up and some interdimensional demons corrupting the planet. <laughs> there is really odd coincidences going on right now. 
And then I just watched the Paper Girls trailer that was sent to me. Odd enough, it was sent to me in like the list with these videos where in Paper Girls, they're in the future again. Now that now it's the past going to the future to stop some cataclysmic end of the world event. It's just a weird, weird thing happening. A lot of things in the media coming out about portals opening up multiverses. And I'm not talking about just now. I'm talking about in the last, like, it could be like the last few months, even everywhere all at once and all that. It's just like, eh, eh. I think people need to start paying attention to what's going on. Hope. Because the thing is, is if you don't pay attention to it now, they're going to unearth it to you. Like, this is literally one of the, the, the biggest facts I've learned from being alive this far is always always make the assumption that everything is planned beforehand because every time something comes out it's released when it's the problem so there's a quote from a movie i just watched um <clears throat> where it was nobody cares about the bomb that didn't go off but everybody cares about the bomb that did so it's literally like make sure you know what's going on or understand what could be a possibility that's coming and don't shut down other people's beliefs or think they're probably crazy for, the, for what they think. Really do your own research. Because I'm telling you right now, if there was a case that they did some huge freaking cataclysmic event, you would know about it an hour before it's about to take place. They would not warn humanity anytime soon. So, uh, hence why I think a lot of the media... A lot of media and art forms like that handle time travel. It's like one person going back in time that's trusted to warn everybody. And it's not like a government official or something. It's literally like they could have worked for them, but it's always like a defect, defective person. Like not defective, like someone who defects from that whatever it is. Whether it be Matrix with Neo, all that. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. Powerful than the people of this planet, yet you're not human. What are you? We're not like everyone else on this planet. Mm. We are. The teenage mm. ninja turtle. If this isn't the poster shot, someone's getting fired. <laughs> They're on the move. I love how they the break the fourth wall, bro. I put on Raft. Wait, does that mean you put trackers on all of us? No. No. <laughs> of course I did. Int. Dude, I love it. I love it. This is August 5th? Okay. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Trackers on Damn, this is fire. Y'all... Look at the end, like. We're not like everyone else on this planet. I like that they got mystic powers. That's a twist. Is that like from one of the cop, like one of the comics, in like one of the universes? They got like these freaking harnessed powers, or is this a whole spin on the series in general? Mr. Leonardo gave me a mission: find the key, stop the crank. Future boy is really from the future. We shall free them to lay waste to this world. No. Yeah, yeah, okay, I don't want to just be sitting here watching it and wasting our time. So I'm going to finish it up and watch it again because I like this. So anyways, yeah, seems good. Like I said, they're opening. It's, it's shit to do with portals and chaos. And also the purple, like, uh, tentacle aliens things remind me so much of, like, it's like, it's like my man H.P. Lovecraft must, must have been on the big, on, like, the biggest discovery because everybody seems inspired by his work like you see cthulhu pop up anywhere or some interdimensional tentacle monsters like uh beyonder or beolders are they beolders like if you're familiar with that fantasy creature the big flowing eyeball or even doom if you're yeah doing doom's like a certain fantasy like a, a darker grim one <laughs> warhammer 40k universe but like yeah it's always like it's always like some corruption it makes me think of aq worlds because the thing in that game was good and evil and then the thing that 
stop the good and evil war was basically corruption coming in and corruption again many eyes tentacles purple colors and i'm like it's interesting it's the same thing i've seen like all of her <clears throat> yeah that's cool this looks dope i'm definitely watching this you will catch me watching it and <clears throat> if y'all want i'm gonna do a review too heck yeah Anyways, much love. I like, man, look at Raph, bro. They look so dope. That's so sick. It's a movie, man. I almost want this to be a series. <laughs> Anyways, much love, Moonlight. I'll see you on the next one. Tell me what you think. I'm low. Peace.